What do you think about Texas the series? Rangers? There's a we lot of TBDs the... as far as pitching goes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, how about we have to travel to both Texas teams this year? We were at Houston. Now we're at Texas. We only got like a three game homestand too. That's true. And then, yeah, it's after traveling all the way to the West. Coast yeah, you West Coast for a week, too. and then you come home for three games, and now you're going back to to Dallas. So um, weird, weird scheduling the last last week and a half or so. Um, but yeah, Texas Rangers, uh, they are they're struggling this year. I mean, year after winning the World Series, they 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 are in a worse off spot than the Pirates. They're sitting at 11 games below 500 right now at 57 and 68. Um, and it's not really that tough a division a division that they're in either. The Astros are leading the AL West right now. Mariners are second. We just saw them. Uh, so you're you're facing a team that's 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 kind of not playing well, um, but they still have some some pretty good players. I mean, you look up and down their their lineup. They Marcus Semien, Corey Seager, uh, Adolis Garcia. They're they're all there, right? Uh, Josh Smith is having a having a pretty good season so far. I think they just called, I think they, they, they just, uh, I was talking them think about Jace young, but I think Josh young is back healthy. He was missing a good chunk of the year. So, um, yeah, so they've got him Wyatt Langford. Uh, you know, we haven't, we haven't gotten to see him yet. He was, he was a guy the pirates were thinking about drafting over Paul Skeen. So, you know, we'll get to see Wyatt Langford. He's, he's struggling, you know, his, his first year in the majors, um yeah it's it's a it's a team that you look on paper and you're like i'm kind of surprised that they're 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 not playing well uh but they've they've been they've been hit hard with injuries you know anytime you know jacob Degrom, max scherzer you know you 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 don't have those guys uh it's gonna uh, it's gonna give you a hit on on your starting rotation so i think we line up against jose urenia Cody Bradford and Andrew Haney. So three pitchers where, you know, you, you know who those guys are and you're not really all that uh, worried about any of them. <laughs> yeah. Haney's like, he's solid. He's fine. He's but he's, like, that's your best. That's the best yeah. one. Yeah. Like he's fine. Right. Um, I feel like, I feel like Urania dominated the Pirates when he was at Colorado. I could be mistaken, but I, I didn't he dominate? It was in PNC Park too, I think. I mean, he was only with Colorado for a few months. I don't know how many games he had against the Pirates, but I'm maybe, sure. maybe. I, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to investigate right now. But at I, any rate, it, yeah. I mean that would make sense. But at any rate, yeah, like the pitching side doesn't look too overwhelming by any means uh it's absolutely the hitting side um and yeah like when you look at the roster it's, again as far as the lineup goes it's still a solid lineup so i think this is gonna be more of a test for you know the pirates pitching in sense um but the offense has to wake up like they have to score runs they need to prevent runs with his offense uh which you know usually the pitching has been doing not lately so again that's part of the problem but like the offense needs to wake up for sure we need to see more of like game one, game two with the Mariners, less than game three. But like you're saying, I mean, this is kind of crazy to think, but yeah, like the Rangers haven't been all that well this year. Um, you just took out one of the division rivals, the Mariners, that are actually even better than them. So now you're going into, you know, Dallas, like you mentioned, you're playing at their home stadium, which also too, like that's a hitter's park. So again, like I was talking about, maybe this will wake up some of the offense. Maybe we'll see some cruise bombs. Maybe maybe Brian De La Cruz will actually get a home run. That'll be nice. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> you know, off their pitching. So, yeah, maybe this will help wake up their offense a little bit. But um, it's certainly a, a task for the pitching, which also, like, we, we'll have Mitch Keller um, and Luis, Luis Ortiz, right? And then a TBD. So uh, Ortiz Monday, tonight, yeah. Keller tomorrow, Tuesday, and then, yeah, TBA on wednesday so um yeah i'm curious on the tba i have a feeling it's i have a bad feeling it's going to be domingo hermon um it's paul skeens has turned through the rotation but we've seen them all season long they always give him that extra day 
of rest in between starts. I don't think he's pitched on four days rest a single time yet in the majors. I don't think it's happened. That was like the final thing that he did in the minors was pitch on four days rest, and he hasn't done it since. Right. Uh, so they're going to push him back um, to give him that extra day, which means you've got a spot start for somebody. It does sort of line up with Jared Jones, but then Ben Sherrington came out yesterday and said Jones is going to get one more rehab start, so it's not going to be Jared Jones. So, you, yeah, I mean, right now you're looking at the options and you're like, it's probably Domingo Herman. Uh, that would be that would be my guess as far as yeah, as far as as far as starting pitchers go. So um, even Texas, they haven't announced Urania or or Haney yet. That's that's what Fangraphs has here as the as the most likely starters to to these games. But yeah, it's um not really sure pitching 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 wise. Not sure who each team's going to go with. Yeah, it's kind of a weird series in that sense. But at any rate, it's one that you look at and say it's, it's winnable for sure for the Pirates. Absolutely winnable. Yep. But we just don't know with them anymore because they're just so weird these days. There's nothing's consistent. What you think they are, they aren't. <laughs> so who knows? We'll find out. But I think it'll be interesting games. And that's all you can ask for at this time of the year. You know, that's what we're talking about. Like, even with wins and losses, losses are going to happen. There's not really much they're playing for. They can at least be entertained through the losses. That's something. So, and I think I think this has this, the potential to be a very entertaining series. And uh, are you on any post game shows? Uh, not in the not in the beginning part of the week. I'm gonna be. Oh. I'm in Kansas City until until Thursday. So well, then, nope. Can't have the Rosati post game uh, cure. Yeah, so they're gonna, we're we're already battling up against that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh well. But at any rate, yeah, we'll see. We'll be back then tonight for the game. Of course, it's a wait, 8-10 start, I believe. I think so. So we're back for the post game tonight. We'll see you guys then. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, appreciate y'all. Go ahead and like and subscribe. 